Here's a simple yet critical skill that every network engineer beginner must know. And it's just simply copying files directly from a USB stick to a Cisco router. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you lock in because that's what this video is all about. I'm giving you my step-by-step -step on how to do just that. And as a bonus, if you really wanna know, I'm gonna be sharing how learning this skill really helped me to become a network engineer. Copying files from a USB like this right here to a Cisco router is essential when remote access isn't an option. Whether it's having to load a new iOS image or you're transferring a config file or just repurposing the device, that's why it's so important to master this skill as a must for every network engineer beginner. So here's what you'll need. Of course, a USB stick with your file and then a Cisco router with that USB port that you see right there. Also, you're gonna need some kind of terminal software. I'm using my MacBook and I'm just using the built-in uh, screen utility for that. And then that's my MacBook right there. And that's the connection. And I'm consoled in currently to another router that you see right here that has a USB stick as well. So you'll need a console connection as well and a console cable. Drop it in the comments below if you have no idea what kind of console cable to get or if you have no idea what the console cable is used for and how to set all of those settings up because that's also something critical that you're going to have to know as a network engineer. All right, first, we're just going to need to ensure the router recognizes the USB. So connect to your router using that console cable in the terminal software. Once you get logged in, then use this command show file systems. Here it's going to show all of the available file systems. And what you're going to look for is your USB stick. It should say something USB or something similar to that. There's some size for it and how much free space. And then again, these are all the other file systems, especially this flash one. We're going to be working with that one today. Now that we know that the router recognizes the USB, you want to now just see what's on your USB flash or I'm, I'm sorry, on your USB drive here. I'm using a command where I am going to just filter out all the files specifically for the ones that are matching with ISR, which is the image on there one of the image files on there. And that's what we're gonna be copying from that my USB stick to the Cisco router is the second entry there of that CPLD update. All right, this is optional for the sake of this video. Let's look at flash just for some practice. We're looking at the memory of the flash here and the files that are inside that file system. And as you can see, I already have one of those. So that's why I'm gonna add that one to that flash file system by copying. And here we go, the copy command is simply copy USB zero for your drive and whatever file you wanna copy, I'm using this one for example, this bin file. And then you question mark and it says, where do you wanna copy it to? Or basically paste, where, do you, where are you gonna paste this to? What file system? And we're gonna choose the flash. Again, there's other file system like MVRAM, memory that you can put it but we're putting it in a flash memory it's going to make sure and as you can see that's the copy in progress and it was very fast very small file and it's simple as that all right now again let's verify the flash that something has changed and as you can see there's that bin file that we just copied it wasn't there before if you rewind the video but now it is there we got two files in our flash memory and right here, I'm just using that filter command just to give you a little bit more practice. As you can see, I'm filtering just for that specific file, but this time, not in the USB drive, I'm looking in the flash file system specifically for that file that was on my USB drive. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And as a bonus, like I said, before we get out of here, I just want to give this short story on how I felt that learning this skill made me become a network engineer. So boom, really quick, I just imagine yourself, I was working in the knock whatever, and there is a tech that's remote, and I'm supposed to be upgrading the iOS on a switch. I have all of the notes on how to do it in my OneNote. However, one of the notes is you have to delete the image, which is the iOS image, which is how the router is just like the operating system of the router. 
I accidentally deleted that image and the tech on site, he doesn't have the image, but I have the image, I have the file on my PC, but there's no way to get it on there other than getting it on a USB stick and then loading it from that USB stick, just copying that file and then putting it onto the router, similar to what we did today. However, um, I didn't know how to do that at the time. I was a rookie and there was some kind of senior engineer when I escalated, they, they knew how to do it. Long story short, we had the file on a USB stick. He transferred it, he got it on there, all of this kind of good stuff. The switch came back online. But what was amazing to me or what helped me to become a network engineer was because through that whole thing, I worked through it. I worked with the network engineer. I didn't just throw my hands up at it, right? And somehow, some way, I did bring the network down, but the engineer and manager, he pinged me on the side through private message, said good job and everything. And he said, do not get frustrated. That's what a network engineer does. They work through situations, they research things. And he said, use this as a learning experience and the opportunities be endless for you in your career. And he definitely was looking at me, but I, for a network engineer in position, but I ended up leaving that company. But I was already a network engineer, I felt, because he told me I was doing network engineering work. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that provides some kind of insight as what a network engineer does. It's really just getting down there and figuring things out, researching things. This is just one aspect of network engineering. Of course, there's project work and all other things and that's a whole nother story for another time and another video. But again, I just wanted to share that kind of information and hopefully that helps. All right, just wanted to say thanks again. And if this video helped you out in any kind of way, make sure to turn on your notification bells for next week's video where I'll be showing you how to set up a lab for network engineering. I'm gonna holla at y'all on that next video. Peace.